Game Development and Design Game developers work in one of three areas, art, engineering, or design. Students will be expected to be conversant in all three areas, but must specialize and excel in one of them. Students will need to produce original works that allow them to distinguish themselves in their particular area. To be competitive in the game's job market, students need a robust, high-quality portfolio consisting of individual assignments, group projects, and out-of-class independent projects that showcases their mastery of their area. At the end of the second year of the major, students' portfolios are evaluated, double-blind by a committee composed of industry professionals and faculty from inside and outside Purdue. Students whose portfolios do not show acceptable progress towards proficiency in their particular specialty are not permitted to continue in the game's major until their work can pass committee review. Committee review happens once per semester. This review reflects the highly competitive reality of the games industry in which high quality work, deep subject knowledge, creativity, intellectual independence, solid team collaboration skills, and professional savvy are the minimum requirements to begin and sustain a career in game development. The game development and design major prepares students to become technically sophisticated developers, conversant in the technical minutiae of the three broad areas of game development, art, engineering, and design, with a clear strength in a student-selected specialization in one of these areas, while also allowing students ample opportunities to express their creative impulses in original game productions. Students who complete the major are well-suited to careers as game programmers, technical directors, technical artists, and environment modelers. Complementary minors depend on the area in which the student chooses to specialize. Art would be an art and design minor. Engineering would be a computer science or computer information technology minor. For design, you might want an English, psychology, industrial design, or one of the humanities as a minor. Additionally, any game developer can benefit from a minor in humanities, that is history, philosophy, sociology, etc., or project management, or entrepreneurship. The field of game development, naturally, has its greatest representation in the entertainment industry. Manufacturers of video games, theme parks, board games, they all need developers. However, the technologies and techniques studied as a game developer are also applicable in virtual and augmented reality, healthcare, simulation, mobile and web development, business management, general application development, finance, military technology, and many other technical and non-technical domains. Games are ubiquitous and somewhat routine in our modern digitally driven society. For persons born after the late 1980s, the internet has always existed, with games being a large part of this digital culture. For these individuals, games are not a novelty, but a commodity, and have always been a part of their lives as entertainment, education, training, socializing, financial and consumer behavior in many other areas. Those skilled in game development have a multitude of different paths by which they can apply their skills in important ways to improve people's lives. The game development and design major is designed to make students competitive within the following careers. A developer position within the gaming industry, modeling and programming positions within the animation industry, indie game development, technical artists, game programmers, technical directors, or game designers. In addition to these primarily entertainment-oriented careers, students will also be qualified to contribute to a non-entertainment-oriented projects, such as those found in web development and design, healthcare, military technology, finance, and many other domains. As a rule of thumb, students with the greatest skill in programming will find the broadest applicability of their skills to various projects. In essence, video games represent a new medium to share stories and their vision for what it means to be human and of their particular time in history. Just as previous generations had movies and television shows such as War Games, Network, Look Who's Coming to Dinner, The Bridge on the River Kwai, and It's a Wonderful Life, today games provide an additional venue by which the times are reflected within the product. Games act as a means to provide this shared cultural dialogue while also acting as a time capsule, a touchstone for each generation to help define who they are by what entertained and inspired them. Some courses you might take would include Game Development 1, Tools and Techniques for the Foundation of Making Functional, Technically Sound Games, Game Development 2, Design and Psychology, that examines how to craft interactive media experiences and analyzes how insights from psychology can be applied to game design. Game Development 3 is Environment Modeling for Games, where modern game development tools allow users to create virtual environments of extraordinary beauty, even without the training as an artist, per se. The course explores the physics, storytelling, photography, and modeling technology behind creating virtual environments that make an impact. 
Students will also take Game Development 4, VFX for Games, creating dynamic effects such as fire, water, sparks, smoke, and others for games that require a blend of artistry and computational acumen. This advanced course teaches students the mathematics and artistry behind creating these effects. Students can also take cross-cultural game development. It's a study abroad course that takes students to countries such as China, Colombia, Qatar, and other nations to create games with students overseas as part of an exploration of how to create game projects that appeal to culturally diverse audiences while working as part of a culturally diverse team.